modern-day urban legends are made of. Here are the biggest stars in Hollywood who are known for enjoying a drink, or five, but not always being able to handle it. Mel Gibson of all the career-killing, drunken disasters on our list, Gibson's 2006 arrest for DUI might be the worst, an incident in which he famously referred to a female police officer as sugar and made shocking anti-Semitic remarks. Once his behavior became public, the Braveheart actor released a statement apologizing for his actions and thanking the police for rounding him up before he hurt anyone, saying, I acted like a person completely out of control when I was arrested and said things that I do not believe to be true and which are despicable. I am deeply ashamed of everything I said. Gibson virtually disappeared from Hollywood for several years after that, and in his defense, he seems to have cooled it with the booze, uh, if not the racist and violent diatribes. But we'll save that for another video. Jennifer Lawrence It's no secret that this Hollywood darling enjoys a good drink, often followed by a good self-deprecating story about how she overdid it at the year's biggest awards show and puked on the porch at a swanky after party. And I look behind me while I'm puking and Miley Cyrus is there like, get it together. <laughs> When it comes to that moment, which was preceded by Lawrence's famous trip on the stairs when she went up to collect her Academy Award, the actress blames her Oscars date for putting on the peer pressure. Oh my god, I can't do this! And she was like, you can do whatever you want! And I was like, I can? But she also took full responsibility when her partying made headlines in 2017 after Radar published video of the starlet working the pole at a strip club in Vienna while allegedly down to her bra. I'm not going to apologize. I had a blast that night, she wrote on Facebook. P.S. That's not a bra. It's an Alexander Wang top, and I'm not gonna lie, I think my dancing's pretty good, even with no core strength. David Hasselhoff In 2007, the star of Knight Rider became an unfortunate YouTube sensation after his 16-year-old daughter filmed him rolling around the floor of his Vegas hotel, drunk, shirtless, and trying unsuccessfully to eat a cheeseburger. Unlike some of the Hoff's other viral hits, the burger video was a train wreck in the worst way and an unsettling glimpse behind the scenes of Hasselhoff's struggle with alcoholism. The actor's distraught daughter can be heard in the background pleading with him not to drink. Tell me that you promise you're not going to get alcohol and you're going to stop drinking. The good news is that the embarrassing moment was a wake-up call. Hasselhoff has been off the sauce since then and says he's grateful to his daughter for giving him the push he needed to get sober. And as for that notorious video, he told Inside Edition that he's shrugging it off with his kids' encouragement. Johnny Depp when the Pirates of the Caribbean star showed up intoxicated to make a presentation at the 2014 Hollywood Film Awards, most people laughed it off as a one-time, hilarious spectacle from one of Tinseltown's most famous reformed party boys. But two years later, that incident started to seem like evidence of an ongoing problem. Amid Depp's messy divorce with then-wife Amber Heard, allegations began circulating that the actor was an abusive drunk, with TMZ publishing a damning video in which a seemingly intoxicated Depp yells, slams doors, and smashes a wine glass. Though sources connected to the actor insisted the tape was heavily edited, his reputation took another hit when he reportedly got into a drunken fight with his own bodyguard. And sources told The Hollywood Reporter that Depp's alcohol use was causing production delays on the set of the new Pirates of the Caribbean film. But since the actor has never addressed the disturbing story surrounding his divorce, the truth remains a mystery, at least officially. Kiefer Sutherland you might know Kiefer Sutherland as the star of this viral video, in which he picks a fight with a Christmas tree in a hotel lobby and loses. What you might not know is that Sutherland is almost as famous a drinker as he is an actor, racking up four DUIs and a reputation for not knowing his limits. This is the point where most celebrities would have checked into rehab, but Kiefer Sutherland isn't most celebrities. Instead, he recorded a love song about alcohol and gave a candid interview in which he said he doesn't ever intend to quit drinking. Eh, at least he's honest. Charlie Sheen After a high-profile drug overdose in the late 1990s, Charlie Sheen became a respected television actor and family man, temporarily. Unfortunately, by late 2010, Sheen was well into the infamous meltdown that torpedoed his TV career and introduced a whole new glossary of terms into the pop culture lexicon. I'm by winning. You know, I got tiger blood, man. Sheen also claimed during that interview that he cured himself of alcoholism with his mind, but apparently that didn't work out. In 2014, a couple sitting in a Taco Bell drive through got quite the surprise when Sheen stumbled up to the car and announced, I'm so f***ing hammered, before showing off his tattoos and offering them relationship advice, according to TMZ. But after announcing in 2015 that he'd contracted HIV, Sheen seems to have put his unhealthy behavior behind him, hopefully for good. Lindsay Lohan after blowing up her career with constant clubbing and two DUI arrests, this former Disney star had such well-documented issues with substance abuse that she earned one of the most high-profile scoldings in reality TV history. So you need to cut the 
You really do, okay? Just cut the That was back in 2014, when Oprah gave the troubled actress a desperately needed chance at a comeback in the form of a docuseries that would chronicle Lohan's return to sobriety and career success. Unfortunately, the show ended in disaster, with Lohan falling off the wagon at the party that was supposed to be a celebration of her new, alcohol-free life. Needless to say, Oprah wasn't sticking around for that nonsense, and Lohan doesn't seem to have learned anything from the attempted intervention. In September 2016, Radar reported that Lohan allegedly flaked on a Russian TV interview after going on a vodka bender, and a month later, she became part owner of a nightclub in Greece. Shia LaBeouf Being a rowdy drunk is one of the least peculiar things about Shia LaBeouf, but he is, and it hasn't always worked out well for him. The actor has a history of bar fights, a DUI, and multiple arrests for public intoxication, including one where, well, we'll let him tell it. I spit on a cop, it's a no-no. <laughs> But things got extra ugly after LaBeouf was arrested for public drunkenness in Georgia in 2017, when footage surfaced of the actor yelling racial insults, threatening to kill an officer, and boasting about his high-priced lawyers. The situation was all kinds of bad, and LaBeouf apologized on Twitter, writing, I am deeply ashamed of my behavior and make no excuses for it. My outright disrespect for authority is problematic, to say the least, and completely destructive, to say the worst. It is a new low, a low I hope is the bottom. For a man who once appeared on the red carpet wearing a paper bag on his head, that's saying something. But it just goes to show that LaBeouf doesn't need LaBooze to keep things interesting. Thanks for